because this is the kind of information that FIRST Robotics teams need to understand how businesses and sponsors think. So I just got back from the Lake Superior Regional. I had a really good conversation with a gentleman who was at the event from NDSU. They had a booth there. The gentleman told me that they were paying to be at that event. I asked him, well, do you sponsor any specific teams here? And he said, no, we're actually a sponsor through FIRST. So NDSU, North Dakota State University, pays first to then be at multiple events throughout the season. Uh, and the gentleman is from the College of Engineering. College of Engineering at NDSU has its own bucket of money that they can allocate towards marketing and recruitment. And these events that they go to for first is considered recruitment uh, for their pipeline. This next part is really where your eyes are gonna open. So I asked the gentleman, if you get one student to go to NDSU's College of Engineering from this one event, just one student, how much is that one student worth? If you had to quantify it in dollars, how much is it worth? And the gentleman said, if we get one student to come to NDSU's College of Engineering from this one event, we would already make back the money that we paid a first to be here. So if you got two students to go to NDSU, you'd make back the money you paid to first to be here, and you'd also be up, double your, you'd double your money, right? You'd be you 2X? And he goes, yeah. Okay, so to put this into perspective for you, this is the tuition of one student going to NDSU's College of Engineering for one year. Now, at this event, there were two competitions, okay? But just, just on the Lake Superior side, there were like 60 teams. Even if you average, let's say 10 students per team, 10 times 60 is 600 students at that event, just competing. Then think of how many students are in the stands watching, right? From the public or not competing, but just there to cheer on their brother, their sister, their cousin, their friend, etc. Then you've got parents and mentors, which may be there at the event, and maybe they don't have any students on the team, but they have students that are in First Lego League or FTC and not FRC yet. So think of the number of people that they are in contact with for recruiting to NDSU's College of Engineering, right? And if they get one person, one student to sign up to go to NDSU's College of Engineering. They've already made their money back that they gave to FIRST just to be a sponsor for this year. And the money they gave to FIRST isn't even just to go to this event, it's to go to multiple events for the entire competition season. And they only need to get one student from one of those events to go to NDSU and they've made their money back. If they average two students per event to go to NDSU and they go to three or four events for the whole season, they've already made their money back times seven more from that. That is the amount of money that NDSU is looking to essentially make by sponsoring first. Now, once you understand that perspective, in marketing, it is very typical that if a business is looking to make some amount of money in terms of gains, they should be spending about 10% of what they're looking to gain in order to make that happen. If NDSU is looking to make this much money, just from a simple, very conservative, let's say again, they got eight students to sign up to NDSU's College of Engineering, they should be looking to spend at least 10% of that money to sponsoring these events that they get to go to. As a FIRST Robotics team, you have valuable things that businesses want. You have students that are valuable. You have mentors that are valuable, that know other mentors and are connected with businesses that are valuable. You have a lot of things that you can give a business that gives them value back. But you need to put the dollars in perspective. And once you put those dollars into perspective, Asking a business to spend a thousand or two thousand or five thousand dollars to sponsor your team, knowing that they make fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars back from that, any business owner in their right mind will go, Sign me up. 
I hope that that story and, and understanding sort of helps you open your eyes again to what the possibilities are when it comes to sponsorships and first robotics. But I'll be making a lot more content still talking about marketing, sponsorships, recruitment, using marketing for your first robotics teams to again, get more traction for your program and help your team achieve their goals. So if you got value out of this video, hit that like button for me, follow my page and share this page, my channels with other people in the first robotics space. I'm trying to make sure that I get as much value to people in first robotics and students and mentors so that they can continue to grow their programs. But that can only happen if they know that I exist and I'm making this content. So I'd appreciate it if you share that with them and just you know, spread the word. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.